please help me welcome to the Bowery Poetry Club, Anis Moshgani and Tony Hoagland. I, I like to get in trouble when I write, and uh, one of the things I, uh, one of my, I sort of feel like I, I write about failure. I want to make people feel like, oh yeah, well, he fails all the time. <laughs> It's okay. It's an under-advertised, uh, seg under-celebrated segment of, of, of experience, you know, and I feel like I'm a role model for failure. <laughs> and, uh, but in this case, I'm, I'm a role model for fear, and uh, um, this is one of the poems I write about uh, race fear and about white fear, and it's called Rap Music. It's just any moment can be taken and made into a poem, and this is just a generic... Uh, familiar American moment where two cars pull up to a stoplight and one of them is going <laughs> and the other car is like guys looking straight ahead and <laughs> and but he knows that something's going on over there it's called rap music 26 men trapped in a submarine are pounding on the walls with a metal pipe shouting what they'll do when they get out or maybe they are rolled up in a rug in the back of a rug truck that has wrecked. No, it's the car pulled up next to mine in traffic with the windows rolled down and the sound turned up so loud it puts everything in italics. Enough to make the asphalt thump and the little leaves of shrubbery in front of the nice brick houses quake. I don't know what's going on inside that portable torture chamber. <laughs> but I have a bad suspicion. There's a lot of dead white people in there. <laughs> on a street lit by burning police cars where a black man is striking the head of a white one again and again with a brick then lifting the skull to drink blood from the hole. But that's what art is for, isn't it? It's about giving expression to the indignation. It's for taking the in out of inhibition. So maybe my ears are just a little hysterical. Or maybe my fear is just a little historical. And you know, I'd like to form an exploratory committee to investigate that question. <laughs> and I'd like that committee to produce a documentary called The Complexifamacious Sounds of Afro-America. But all this ugly noise is getting in the way. And what I'm not supposed to say is that black for me is a country more foreign than China or vagina, more alarming than going down Niagara on Viagra. And it makes me feel stupid when I get close, like a little white dog on the edge of a big dark woods. I'm not supposed to look directly into. And there's this pounding noise, like a heartbeat full of steroids, like a thousand schizophrenic Shakespeare's killing themselves at high volume. This tangled roar that has to be shut up or blown away or sealed off or actually mentioned and entered. <laughs> 